Welcome to Linux Fest, the mini fest. Uh, I'm really glad you're all here because, as you know, we were planning for the full fest. Uh, but as we started talking about, well, what the heck are we going to do? The thing that we kept coming back to as a group was, well, one of my favorite parts about the fest is the hallway track. It's the social stuff. And then I thought, you know, this is also kind of like the warm up to the one we'll have in the spring. So you can make your connections, get to know some faces, and then when we do one in the spring, you'll be ready to go. So today, in a bit, we'll have Brent jump up as one of our first speakers. So I want to tell you a little bit about what we've got. Where's my uh, piece of paper? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you a little bit about what we have going on. Do you need me over here? No, you're fine. I got okay. It. All right. So here's the agenda. First up, it's Brentley with uh, what's new at Nextcloud. And then Carl's going to join us with, with the road to Apple 9. Where's Carl? That should be interesting. He's here. Okay. Uh, then we're going to have a comprehensive introduction on disk imaging and cloning using Clonezilla, which is a session I specifically should pay attention to because I know about Clonezilla, but I never use it properly. Oh, yeah, okay. Then bringing Fedora Linux to the Apple Silicon Max. Looking forward to that. Okay, okay. Open source wireless packet capture at 315. Timing, you know, pay attention, but this is the rough outline. Uh, and then gaming with robots. That's going to be great at 345. And then at 415, we're doing the lightning talks. So if you want to do a lightning talk, you're thinking about it, Garth's your man to speak to, the guy there with the hat. Uh, just let him know, and we're going to be organizing that. And so if some of these run short, the lightning talks will run a bit longer and vice versa. So that's kind of the plan there. Um, then, of course, after all of this, we have dinner at the Brandywine. So we hope you can join us tonight, sort of the JB party. And while this is going on, if there's a session that maybe isn't your jam or you just want to stretch your legs, Robo Ruckus is going on from 1 to 5 p.m. in the Skillshare space. That's like upstairs, right? Upstairs, yep, right at the entry. Sounds pretty cool, so make sure you stop in and check that out. Um, and then, of course, we do also hope you'll take a minute and find a QR code and take the quick survey. So that way we can make the uh, spring event even better. And then, of course, hopefully you'll keep your ears peeled for news on Linux Fest in the spring. So before we get started, I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about my history with Linux Fest, and then I'll get out of the way and Brent can get started. But knowing that I was going to be here talking to you guys, I thought, well, maybe I should really figure out how long and what I, how long I've been involved with Linux Fest and all that. And I realized that my first Linux Fest, uh, it was a, it was really just something that the Bellingham Linux Users Group was putting on. And I found out because I was still in high school <laughs> at the time. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, it could have been a few years ago, right? Um, and my computer lab high school teacher, Mr. Bassett, took me. And my first year was with my teacher, which I don't think anybody would do anymore. They wouldn't take a high school teacher wouldn't drive a high school kid up to Bellingham. But they could. But they did, and it was great. And I was hooked. The next year, I went again, although I was graduated, I went again with that same teacher and my girlfriend, Angela, at the time, who's now my ex-wife. So you can kind of see that trajectory there. That's, that's the history. <laughs> was my girlfriend, now my ex-wife. But uh, she's still here. She's still coming, too. So. But you know what was, what was so, so, so important back then was just getting as much information as you could. Because there wasn't YouTube, really. So you, you couldn't just go look up a subject on like MySQL, right? But you could actually get a lecture from people that work with my school every day. And that spirit still goes on today, but I think with this mini-fest, what I learned in reflection of all of that is, because I was very anti-social, always have been, it's kind of like, I still have to practice being social. Um, but what I figured out the hard way, after like years of just being really heads down and nothing but the information, was taking a little bit of time here and there to just make the connections because we all have, what's really, really, really cool about these is we all kind of have a common social context that we share. We all are interested in technology. To, we all know Linux to one degree or another. We're probably experimenting with some project or we want to learn. And that's an easy conversation starter. So if, you're, if you have a little bit of trouble starting conversations, you always have that to fall back on. I mean, you can always rib somebody about their desktop choice. That always <laughs> works. So it's really low key, so I encourage you to do it. And then you'll be ready for the spring when we have the full fest. There's a lot going on, though. And just grab me or any, anybody if you have any questions. And I think that's pretty much all I have. So with that, Brentley, where's Brentley at? <laughs> 